Hey guys, how's it going? This is Richard Beck with Beck Tools. Today I'm going to show you a different type of setup that I haven't yet shown on the channel. So, believe it or not, you can fit a full-size 6-inch vise in a Langmuir Systems MR1. Now, it is tight. Um, you can see here, technically clearance is clearance, but... <laughs> So, it is possible, um, as I've just shown, and um, today I'm using, now the reason I wanted to put this large vise in here was for this reason right here. I, want to, I wanted to do some soft jaws so I could increase my production. So, I bought these soft jaws on Amazon, I'll leave a link below. The cool thing is, is they already have holes for a six inch vise. Um, I did deck the top and the bottom so that my holes will be centered so I can make them reversible. And I, they're coated with something. It doesn't, I don't know if it's anodized or what, but they have a coating, which is kind of nice. Um, but anyway, I machined these soft jaws so I can take these guys, just like that, two of them. Just like so. And you know what? I might as well just run this program real quick. It's a fast. Well, I'll, I'm not going to run the program. This video will get too long. But let me explain one thing. This is my zero right here. The corner of this rear fixed jaw. And I have a G54 and a G55. And the reason I have dual offsets is because let's say the next time I put these jaws in here, um, it's tipped a thou, right? So this side's maybe a thou lower than this side. I can independently adjust anything about this, right? Because they, they both have their own offset. So if I wanted to make the G55 a thou lower or a thou higher, I can do that. That's the benefit of having... Now, I still only have to touch off one spot to begin with, right? I touch off a G54, and then I go to G54 while I'm there, and I zero out G54 and G55. So it's, it's still, you know, I'm not like setting up everything twice, like two different offsets. It's the same offset. I just have them programmed as dual offsets, so that way they're independently adjustable. Anyway, let me quick show you these, uh, these soft jaws that I got. This was a, a set of 10, right? So you get 20 of these, 10 sets, uh, for like 150 bucks. I don't know. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, so they're pretty nice. Now, they're not like... The, the, it says they're like 6 by 2 by one but guys, they're metric, honestly. Um, and when I tried to bolt them in, the holes were just a little bit too high. So I took 60 thou off the bottom, 60 thou off the top, um, because these holes are centered. So now I could use either side. Anyways, I mean, I'm kind of happy with them. So I am starting to set up my MR1 for big vice because I think I'm gonna make some spacers. Um, and then things will be easier so when i say spacers i'm talking about right here um if i put a two inch spacer in here um then i should be able to run big vices all the time and you know do more of this kind of stuff and i should still be able to get low enough maybe i'll just do a one inch spacer because when i'm running big vices like this i'm i'm running parts right I'm almost never put like a big, huge piece in a vice like this. If it's a big piece, it's going to be down on the table. It's going to be toe clamped. So, I don't know. So anyways, that's all I got for this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, if you get anything value out, if you, if you get value out of this channel, give me a thumbs up. That helps. Tells YouTube that, you know, they should show this content to other people. And uh, if you don't like the, let me know. Do you like the... Just unedited, uncut. I just flip the phone on and I give it to you like, hey, real life, you know. 
that's kind of my new strategy. I feel like this is who I am. Why edit? Um, came here to uh, explain something simple, so it doesn't need to be that complex. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.